Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. I want to, I want to talk about, I guess, the whole debate about Halo Infinite need needing to be this or that. What I think it needs to be, and I think most people, most Halo fans, will agree with me on this. It just needs to be a good, solid Halo game, if not great. Like because it's no secret that like three of three hasn't has delivered too divisive. Halo games, to say the least. You know, with things that are still being discussed, still being debated to this day. You know, like Sprint and all that. That's a whole other story. It doesn't need to be the Battle Royale, or this or that. It doesn't need to be a Masterpiece, although I would love for it to be. You know, that would be, that would be a dream come true. If it really, if it really turns out to be a Masterpiece, and completely blows everybody away. Like, that would be amazing. Anyway. What it needs... What Halo Infinite needs to be is have a stellar campaign, which, based on what we've seen so far, I think that's truly the case. And two, a good, rock, rock solid multiplayer. Period. Because multiplayer is what keep keep most players around with with Halo. I mean, Halo has typically always been known to usually have a good multiplayer. Four was like the outlier in my opinion, like that. That game's multiplayer was not the best, like, and I'm pretty sure most hardcore Halo fans will agree with me on that. Second, it just needs to be a good game. That's it. None of none of the bullcrap with you know. No, it doesn't mean battle royale. I'm I know for a fact multiple times the developers have shot that down. I hope that's still the case. I mean, sure, at, after launch, but just make sure that the typical modes are there, because Halo Five did not do that at launch. As we all know, that game had a lack of content on its multiplayer portion. Hell, Big Team Battle didn't even make make it to launch. It launched, I think, a month after launch, if I remember right. And it didn't even have developer-made mo maps. It only had Forge maps, which I mean, that can only get you so far with you know with the longevity of the mode. Which Big Team Battle. In Halo 5, it did not last that long because the developers took attention away from that to Warzone, which was put, you know, which had, you know, microtransactions with the rec packs and all that, but that was during a time, like, where, you know, rec packs were becoming the norm. Well, loot boxes in general, but that seems to have died down. And, but what they're saying, it seems like loot boxes are out, so I really hope they give Big Team Battle, you know, the love it needs. You know, first this time around. So even Halo Four had great big team battle maps. So you know, coming off of every other Halo game with big team battle, like Five left a poor taste in my mouth. You know, and finally, hell, Infection. Did, you know, to bring up the lack of content again, Infection didn't even launch until six or seven months after launch, and Forge didn't even come out until two months later. Sure, it was a excellent excellent forge mode you know besides like the controls were, were i guess could be you know tricky at times if you don't know what you're doing and finally it's just and finally with the free to play aspect just just make it like where the grind where it's not too grindy with the you know progression system so you know ranking i'm glad that they're making ranking based matchmaking based on input so between you know xbox and pc you know, that's, I think that's a good thing in my opinion, so, hopefully they have anti-cheat system because of, you know, crossplay between the two, hopefully, which, going by the PC blog post that I talked about, they seem to have a plan in place, hopefully it actually works. All in all, people need to really calm down with, with these insane, oh, it needs to be Masterpiece or blah blah blah. I would love that. I would love for it to be Masterpiece, am I expecting it? I'm not gonna say yet until, you know, until until we see it, see you know, the re-reveal of it in in just about a few weeks. So, which I'm very excited for. So, and I will be covering that obviously. I'll s probably, s I'll probably stream the uh, Microsoft press conference probably because I think I figured it out how to do it. So, but seriously. I guess I don't, before I go off the deep end, I don't want to make this too long, so 
all in all, people need to calm down with their insane takes about it, need, it needing this or needing that. It just needs to be a good, rock-solid Halo game. That's it. That's all it needs to be. And if they can achieve that, I think the, there's a bright, very bright future ahead for this franchise. So, so anyway, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. I will be reading your comments down. And if I have time, obviously, reply to it as well. So, so this is Halo Gaming signing out, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.